I'm Stephanie Ann Boyd, and I'm the October Composer of the Month for Washington Square Winds. First question, when did I start composing? So my grandmother has always written music uh, from when she was very young, and so growing up, I wanted to do what grandma was doing, and so the first pieces that I wrote at the piano and memorized and went, you know, so I could I could play them again and again. Uh, that happened when I was in kindergarten, so I don't know, six, maybe six years old. Um, and the first real piece that I wrote was a string quartet when I was in sixth grade. But beyond that, um, you know, then it exploded in high school, but started pretty, pretty young. Um, what drew me to composing, again, this, this goes back to grandma, who I talk to like every day. She's, she's a really amazing woman, uh, happy to have her in my life. Um, uh, yeah, grandma, uh, she would, it'd be so cool, I'd come home from, you know, a violin lesson and go to her house and play, uh, you know, whatever dinky little piece I was, I was playing at the time and she'd, you know, have it memorized immediately and uh, then play along with uh, harmonies and such so uh, so we would we would also improvise together so that was a, a huge foundational experience for me um, just to just to be in a space where I was expected to be able to catch on to melodies and learn things by ear and be very intuitive with with the you know notes I was playing and um, you know or singing uh, at the time. I did for a very long time. I played violin uh, from like when I was eight, I think. Um, I played violin all through undergrad uh, in Chicago, but ended up getting pretty bad tendonitis. So I'm like, okay, I get it. I'll stick. I'll stick to composing. That's fine. Where do I usually compose? This chair is amazing. This chair is absolutely amazing. If if you need in your life to spend hours in one place, like seven hours straight sitting in one place, please get this chair, it's from Ikea. Um, I bought it for myself for my birthday two years ago. It's so frustrating to have everything up here going on very quickly and to be like, oh, oh let me write this down, let me try and write this down. Um, so really the whole translation uh, process between, you know, what's, what's happening with all this, you know, this electrical stuff up here and trying to get that down on paper, that's really the most frustrating um, part of the process. I am secretly a published illustrator, so if you look under my pen name, like on barnesandnoble.com, you'll find my coloring book and stuff like that. So, Galliard, um, this piece that I wrote for Washington Square Winds, uh, I hope that it makes you want to tap your foot, and I hope that you come away from the concert um, with its melodies stuck in your head. Uh, it's a short little piece, it's a short little piece, but um, uh, I would listen to these, uh, or I, before I wrote the piece, I, was I would listen to these um, actual galliards by uh, these ensembles uh, who work with um, dancers, like period dancers. Uh, these these uh, performances on YouTube, and they were really quite energetic and uh, spunky, and uh, it was just sort of vigorous and active. And I wanted to go ahead and uh, put that into my music as much as possible, um, while still deviating enough from it that you're not like, oh, look at this piece that sounds exactly like you know, these, these other, you know, original Galliards. I remember, so I remember my first introduction to the Pavan uh, because we were just supposed to analyze the chords of, of the piece. And so we had, I think we had like the main melody line or something, you know, in our, in our books. But I remember being a little shocked because I, I knew the piece. I just don't know where. Um, I think growing up with, uh, watching the Looney Tunes a lot, or, you know, old Looney Tunes reruns, uh, ends up actually helping you have a, a sort of a sturdy foundation in the classical canon um, without actually knowing the names of any of the pieces. But uh, I really did like the, uh, 
A section of the pavan. I hated the B section of the pavan, 4A's pavan. I thought it was very um, just overt in all things that the uh, the A section wasn't. But I, I do love I do love the A section very much, and I love how it's like floating down some river, you know, languidly floating down, you know, in the middle of July or something like that. So um, my Galliard is definitely a contrast to that. And when I think of the foray, I think um, a great deal about the colors of it. So to me, it always has these very cool pale colors. Uh, you know, lilac and aqua and green and so forth. And my Galliard, I, you know, for me it's like this color and, and golds and uh, bright oranges. So I hope that uh, by having the Galliard on the concert with the uh, Freys Pavan that you'll definitely get the entire spectrum of colors. Back, back to work, back to work. Bye guys.